So guys, this is the amazing view from the Baisa Desert. And this dune we're on right now has the red most sand in this entire desert. Guys, come hike up this mountain with me. Let's go. After three days of being in a mountainous area, we found a huge plain with a mountain in the middle and decided to climb up it to enjoy the view. After enjoying the view and having a breakfast, we started our descent. We were roaming around the desert when we came across this herd of camels which were grazing peacefully. In the summer, they shave the side of their bodies but keep some fur on top of the hump so that they can get some protection from the hot sun. This one still has all of its fur, but probably will be shaved soon. Um, uh, bye bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Are we friends now? Are we fine? Are we fine? Yeah, thanks. We're fine. We're friends. I think the leaders are calling the camels to continue on their grazing. You can see that some have started to move. The little baby is going to join his mother. Probably. 
that one. There was something dark in this bush and it just ran inside the hole when we approached it. Hey guys, so we're visiting our friend's farm. They have camels and they also have some nice facilities. They have a party hall and they also have some restrooms. The caretaker is milking the camel. How much we can drink? You'll drink a little, huh? Yeah. Taste it. I want to try it too. <laughs> so guys, we're at our friend's farm and he just gave us some fresh camel milk. I've heard it tastes amazing. So can't wait to try it. After having lunch in the great shade of this mountain, we started driving south from Bajda to Wadi Disa. We enjoyed the beautiful desert scapes on the way. We were traveling at the road and we saw these people that were stuck at the side of the road. So we stopped and decided to help them. They were already getting helped by a Toyota pickup, but they did not have a proper recovery rope. So they were using a makeshift one and were struggling a lot. Since they had a two wheel drive and it was very dusty sand, they wouldn't have been able to come out by themselves. While inspecting the connections, we realized that our hook was too big to fit in their small hitch and that he had levered it in with a tire wrench. We saw that this was not safe at all and we decided to use a second smaller rope to attach to the end of the yellow rope to tow him out. He tried to say that there's no need to go to the trouble and he tried to show that it was strong enough by tugging on it. But even after examining it again, we still decided that it wasn't worth the risk. We then took out the smaller rope with the smaller hook which would fit into his recovery point. After attaching it, we then proceeded to tow him out safely. Guys, now we're visiting the most beautiful wadi of Saudi Arabia, the Wadi Disa. So we're now approaching the entrance to the Wadi Disa.
it was getting late and while finding a campsite we came upon this car which was stuck it was a pretty remote place and we decided to help them as there was no knowing when another car would have come around Luckily, we managed to pull them out pretty quickly and then we went on to find a campsite. 